We just left Queenstown on the next part of our big ass New Zealand roadie. We're on our way to Fox Glacier. We are actually driving via the Crown Ranges, so it's going to be a stunning drive ahead and we'll take you along every step of the way. It hasn't even been 10 minutes and we've already stopped at our first scenic lookout. South African flag! In case you didn't know what it looked like. <laughs> not even 10 minutes and we've stopped again. We're not even at the top of the Crown Ranges yet, so at the summit. Uh, but we just had to stop at this viewpoint. Oh my word, it is stunning. These views are incredible. I am blown away. And there's this icy wind that's just probably coming off Antarctica and just keeping us cool. Antarctica! <laughs> or maybe just... The, the snow-capped mountain. That snow-capped somewhere there. There. <laughs> Still have to go more up, 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 up. This is Cardona. Welcome to Wanaka. Where's the tree? Where? Where? drove into the town and it is so beautiful the lake is stunning surrounded by mountains we're gonna go see the tree but everything else so far has been so beautiful and impressive The backdrop of that tree is absolutely stunning. All those mountains in the back, but all those people in the front trying to get their photo with the Wanaka tree. <laughs> Which we didn't mind too much because without all these people, we wouldn't have access to all this beautiful stock footage. Just off the beach is this beautiful, beautiful pathway through these other massive trees. This is actually the parkrun route. You run through the trees here along the lake. So one day, I'm going to be back to do this parkrun. We can come and stay here, bring our sups. Yes, I want to and sup just on sup. this. Chantal can watch me parkrun while she sups out there in the water. Yeah. That's the plan. The water is so clear too. <laughs> wow. We've come into the town really quickly to find some coffee. And something cool that we've seen is parking from just one dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee time. <laughs> I've swam in Wanaka. So. Yay, well done! <laughs> the water is so clear. It's not too bad. <laughs> Time to continue our journey. We are sad to leave Wanaka after just about an hour here, less than that. We're definitely going to add this to our list of places to come on holiday. Last few minutes we've been driving past Lake Hawea. The views have been so beautiful, so we just had to pull off again. It's stunning, this massive lake at the foot of the mountains. Wow. We 
we stopped again. This is Lake Wanaka again. It is so big. I can't believe it. And the mountain ranges are just stunning. We have found an amazing view spot on the Wanaka Lake for lunch. It is incredible. The weather's perfect. So it's ham and cheese rolls again. Let's do it. Salt. This is a good spot. Wow. I had a swim. I don't have words to describe how clear, perfect, pristine this water is. It's just unbelievable. I could spend the whole day here just swimming and it's not too cold, which is nice. Time to hit the road again. This guy down here. Welcome to Makarora. There aren't service stations on this road, so we have to stop at these little small little towns to try and find bathrooms. And we found this cute little one. We're gonna get some coffee here and hopefully they also have a toilet. The line was a bit long for coffee, so we'll stop at the next place, but at least we could use the bathroom here. Let's move on to the next place. Let's go. We pulled over by the blue pool but you've got to walk quite far to get there. It's about 1.6 kilometers. The board says 45 minute walk. The bridge is, seems to be close. So the other guy said that you have to wade through water a bit. It would be cool if we were staying close by and not on a long trip. Here are some photos for you though. That would be cool. Next time. Who's ready for half pass? Because I am. We have pulled off the road again because we saw a sign for the Fantail Falls and it's only a two minute walk from the parking lot in the forest. The scenery is amazing so we're going to take a look. This water is so clear and so inviting. I had to take a swim. I just can't believe how amazing this whole trip has been from lakes to rivers. It is a bit colder here than in the lake, but refreshing with the hot sun is good. We haven't seen this greenish water yet. It was a great stop at Fantail Falls. Now we're going to be back in the car and we're about to go over Hastings Pass, I think it's called. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is probably the most beautiful stretch of road that we have ever driven on. I've probably said that about every stretch here in New Zealand, but there are so many stops and now we're at Thunder Creek Falls and we pulled over after we said we weren't going to. So let's go see what it's like. Unreal. Definitely worth the stop though. It's just a quick walk off the parking lot. Probably one of the best waterfalls we've seen this side in South Island so far. So I'm sure there's many more though. Easily accessible. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Horst, which means we're going to hit that west coast really soon. We are in Haast, so this long one-way bridge is as you hit the west coast in Haast. Now we're waiting. Crossing the Haast River. We have finally hit the west coast and we're driving 
along it all the way and finally there's a viewpoint called Knight Point Lookout so that's where we are now. So far we've been pretty lucky with sand flies. only my dad has been bitten on this trip but now they're actually coming for all of us now that we've hit the west coast but we knew that might happen. We prepared, are we? Yeah, let us bring it, bring them. <laughs> I don't care. We have Bushmans but we haven't sprayed it on yet. <laughs> at a place called Bruce Bay by sand, blue water, beautiful. After this we're actually going to go move away inland to Fox Glacier. We have about 40 minutes left. We've been driving for more than six hours. It's been a long day, <laughs> but a beautiful long day. So. I just wanted to see the sea before we head into Fox Glacier. Wow! They're staying in the car because they're scared of sand flies. Yes, because the sand flies bite and it itches for weeks. <laughs> scared of them, just don't like them. Scared. <laughs> I am scared. <laughs> We just arrived at Fox Glacier and we did about 340 kilometers today. It took us about seven hours. So if you want to do this trip from Queenstown to here, set aside a lot of time because you are going to want to do a lot of stops, to see all the lookouts and all the views. It really is an amazing, amazing road. It was a really good road as well, but not a lot of service stations. So you kind of have to make sure to stop at all the towns if you want to use the bathroom or fill up with petrol. If you want to see what we get up to in Fox Glacier, we're here for two nights. Then make sure to watch the next video. We hope you enjoyed this adventure with us today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> so it's so America. That was a great stop at Fantail. No. Is it Fantail Falls? Yeah. It's our first full day in Fox Glacier. Okay. In 1908, the glacier came right up here. Everything is just extra and big and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>